Hello, Catherine here. Very, very quick video today. I want to show you something very interesting. The Kini project finally disclosed more info about price and release of the Bio Artificial Kini. According to Dr. Shua Roy, project leader of the Kini project, the final product may cost you just around $9,000. Yes, their aim is to make it less expensive than the Yalysis, which is incredible if you think about it. So, this is big and it comes directly from the website of the Kini project, the team behind the artificial Kini. I'll show you in a moment. Because by now, I imagine you already know everything about the artificial Kini. It's huge news that they are finally able to actually test a complete working prototype. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my video up here. This is a real bioartificial organ that will be implanted in people with end-stage kidney disease. They are already testing a complete prototype, which means they have already manufactured the polycarbonate shells and they have grown the kidney cell cultures that will be alive in them. They also put all this together and they have shown the world that lab-grown kidney cells can survive while filtering the blood without anticoagulants nor immunosuppressants. And this is really amazing! So right now, the question is not if this incredible breakthrough is possible, but when is it going to be available? Yes, we really live in the future. Now, let's talk about the price. These kind of medical wonders don't come in cheap. I mean, they are the only ones in the world that have it and millions of people need it. People don't just want it, people need it. So, the Kini project team could ask any sum of money for it, in theory. Yet, their aim is to make it less expensive than dialysis for the patient. This is the only way it could work according to them. Now, dialysis costs a lot of money. In the US, we are talking about up to $400,000 for a year of treatment. A transplant, on the other hand, costs around $150,000 in the US. What about the artificial kidney? They already know how much it costs to manufacture it. The estimated cost is around $30,000, which is literally nothing compared to what dialysis or a human transplant costs. Yet, we need to add the cost of the surgery to that. So, in the end, I don't know if my estimate of $9,000 is accurate because for many patients, it will be way less than that. People already receive dialysis for free when the insurance covers it or in countries with public health care when the government covers it. And obviously, Dr. Roy already affirmed that they are already negotiating with both Medicare and commercial insurers. Our analysis suggests that the implantable bioartificial kidney may offer over 50% cost savings compared to dialysis. As such, we anticipate that the device will be attractive to those making coverage decisions. Now guys, I always get the same three questions when I talk about the artificial kidney. The first one is, how do I apply for the human trials? Then, is it going to be available in my country? And for last, what the eligibility criteria are? So to answer this question, how do I apply for the human trials? You can apply directly through the form the Kini project team made available. Link is in description below. You just need to put your info on it. Where can I get it? Is it going to be available in my country? Now, we need to make a distinction here. Because while they plan to release it worldwide in the next years, the Kini project team is based in San Francisco, in the University of California, San Francisco, to be accurate. So if you want to participate in the human trials, the closer you are to them, the better, clearly. Third, what are the eligibility criteria? They never fully disclose the eligibility criteria for entering the human trial for the artificial kidney that are supposed to start in 2022. But knowing how the artificial kidney works, I think we can safely assume that if you meet the requisites for a human kidney transplant, you can be eligible for the artificial kidney too. 
I mean, it has even less rexids than a human organ. It doesn't need anticoagulants and immunosuppressants. Okay guys, this is a quick one as I said, but please don't be angry at me because it was too short. A new video is coming next Tuesday. Yes, today's was an extra and I hope there will be more if you like it. This is all for today. See you next time. Bye.